Hey everyone, Dr. Eric Madrid here. In a prior video, I discussed the diabetic medication metformin and the vitamin deficiencies that it could cause. In this video, I'll be discussing a common blood pressure medication class and its effect on your vitamin and mineral levels. Sometimes the side effect to this class results in one being admitted to the hospital. So you're gonna to wanna to stay tuned for this information. The blood pressure class to which I refer are diuretic medications. A, type, a diuretic is a type of medication that helps one eliminate excess sodium and ultimately water from their kidneys. Diuretics are frequently used as a first-line therapy for the treatment of high blood pressure, also known as hypertension. These medications do a great job for most in lowering blood pressure values. I personally frequently prescribe them to my patients when diet and lifestyle, uh, lifestyle changes are not enough to lower blood pressure. It's important that if you are on this type of medication, do not stop taking it. High blood pressure is a serious and potentially dangerous condition which can increase your risk for heart attack, stroke, and ultimately chronic kidney disease. Diuretic blood pressure medications include the following, hydrochlorothiazide, triamterene hydrochlorothiazide, chlorthalidone, spironolactone or aldactone, and sometimes furosemide, also known as Lasix. Fortunately, fortunately, these medications do a great job for most and lower blood pressure to safe levels. However, regular use can result in low blood levels of sodium, potassium, and magnesium. In addition, they may cause dehydration in some if water intake is inadequate. Other nutrients depleted in addition to sodium, potassium, and magnesium include calcium, vitamin C, vitamin B1 or thiamine, vitamin B6 or pyridoxine, and even the mineral zinc. Low levels of sodium, for example, can cause weakness, fatigue, dizziness, and even mental confusion. I've admitted many patients to the hospital over the years due to hyponatremia, the medical term for low sodium. Most cases were the result of a side effect from a diuretic medication. In addition, low levels of potassium and magnesium can cause muscle cramps, and in some cases, irregular heartbeats, which may or may not have any symptoms associated with them. If you are taking these blood pressure medications, routine blood monitoring of your electrolytes at least once per year, <clears throat> excuse me, and sometimes even twice is advised, and adequate replacement of the nutrients should be considered. Consider asking your health uh, healthcare provider if alternative blood pressure medications can be considered. However, do not stop taking your medication unless advised to do so by your own personal physician. Some studies have shown that coenzyme Q10 and Hawthorneberry supplementation may help lower blood pressure. Magnesium may also be helpful for some. Low levels of vitamin C can result in easy bruising while low levels of zinc can weaken the immune system, lead to skin rashes and result in chronic diarrhea. If you are taking a diuretic, try to get these nutrients from your diet. A diet is the preferred method and Generally, a diet high in colorful fruits and leafy green vegetables uh, may be helpful in ensuring you do not become deficient in these vitamins and minerals. Also, the following supplements may be considered, especially if you're unable to get adequate amounts through your diet for one reason or another. The supplements I would recommend would be calcium 500 milligrams. Make sure you're getting enough vitamin D because this helps in, um, ensure the absorption of the calcium magnesium chelate, 125 to 500 milligrams daily. Potassium, also present in a quality multivitamin, should be good. Vitamin C, maybe around 500 milligrams daily. A vitamin B complex, as directed on the label. And even zinc, anywhere from 10 to 25 milligrams. And again, this would be present in most multivitamins. Um, Thank you for watching this video. I hope you find this information useful. Please remember to uh, subscribe to my channel. Also follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Eric Madrid MD. Also realize that the information in this video is for informational purposes only. Please consult with your own personal physician before making any changes to your medication regimen. Thank you and have a great day.